Welcome back to ChartingWealth.com and Happy New Year. We took a hiatus there at the end of the year, recharged our batteries and are supercharged and ready to roll into the next year. We appreciate you being with us. This is the way we always start with IYY. What is that? Well, that is the iShares Dow Jones U.S. Total Market Index Fund. It represents what's going on in the whole market. And we always start with our two-day chart. Then we'll go to our half-day or four-hour chart. What do we see happening over the last many, many days? Well, we see the market rolling over back on the 4th of December, actually on the 2nd. But the movement really started on the 4th, although we were given a preemptive notice when we saw the MACD, that's the Moving Average Convergence Divergence Indicator. If you don't have our charts, you need them. I know a lot of you listen on audio because you may be driving, working out, whatever. But you can also see this on video, and even better, you can get our charts, and I'll tell you at the end of the show how to get them. It's real easy. Just sign up for our newsletter at chartingwealth.com. I'll explain that a little further. And you'll be able to see, and what we're seeing as we look at the video right now, a crossover going down on the MACD back on the 2nd of December. That portended what happened around the 4th, the candle on the 4th, and then a huge drive down until sometime around the 14th of December. And at that point, the market just has really slidden sideways since then. And that's where the market ended up on the last trading day of the year, the 31st. Now, if we drop back to our four-hour chart, Again, on the total market, we see a crossover going down that occurred in the afternoon. We can see intraday play when we see that chart. And when I talk about it with you, we saw a big down candle in the morning and another down candle in the afternoon. <clears throat> the market itself was down 1.24% for the day. And we see a crossover in the afternoon going down on our big chart. So, I'm sorry, on our small chart, our four-hour chart. So when we see that happen and the big chart's already in a down move, what does that tell you to do? It tells you to trade. Now, again, it is the end of the year, so this is sort of a quirky, weird time. I would not have gotten in at that point at the end of the day, at the end of the year, but that is what the chart's telling us to do. We'll check that out when the market opens and see what we see. But again, like I said, a lot of sliding sideways movement since the major down moves ended around the 14th or so of December. Saw some up and down moves, but again, nothing major. It's sort of the end of the year quirkiness as people are going on vacation like we did. And again, thank you for your patience and us being gone for those couple of weeks. Now, we're going to go to what? SPY. What is that? Well, that's the Standard & Poor 500. Again, this is the Spiders S&P 500 Trust Series ETF, which stands for Exchange Traded Fund. What do we see going on there? Well, we also see a sliding sideways on our two-day chart since it reached its bottom somewhere around about the 14th, like the, like the big chart did. And again, it touched that bottom around the 18th of December and just slid sideways the rest of the time. We crossed over going down around the 30th and then the market followed suit. The indicator gave us a nice heads up that that's the way the market was going and we're still in a confirmed down move on the big chart. We revert back to our four-hour chart. What do we see? Well, not quite crossed over yet. Let's see what happens on Monday morning. When the, uh, when the markets open in the new year and what really starts going on. Now, as an aside here, if you don't have your Stock Traders Almanac, you have got to have that. Every year it comes out, and if you don't have the 2016, you really need to get yourself a copy. I use it like a Bible throughout the course of the year. In fact, I'm picking mine up as we talk Stock Traders Almanac 2016. It is put out by Jeffrey Hirsch and his dad, Yale, and it is a phenomenal piece of, of information, documentation to have. They track all sorts of historic trends, and what's really fascinating is the presidential cycle that we're going into. Those of you who pay attention to history, you know that the stock market has its best years in the pre-election and in the election years. Uh, so we are looking for 
big things to happen again, potentially this year. It doesn't have to happen. It's not always happened. But again, it's nice to know with the Stock market, stock Traders Almanac what you can expect to be going on. So I encourage everybody, pick up a copy of that. You can order on Amazon, Stock Traders Almanac 2016. You got to have that. Okay. Let's get back to the charts. We're going to go range back out to our two-day chart and look at the Qs. What is QQQ? It says Power Shares QQQ Trust Series 1. What is that? Well, that's basically the NASDAQ 100. And what's it been doing? Well, it's been sliding sideways since sometime around about the 16th of November on our two-day chart. It's really just slid sideways that entire time. It did technically cross over going down sometime around the 30th of November and plunged down again like our other two charts. Big plunge down around the 14th of December. Sort of touched that bottom again around the 18th and then again around the 22nd of December and then slid sideways since then. Still in a confirmed down move. Our We hadn't talked about our derivative oscillator on any of these other charts, but it is, um, it's plumbed its depths and has started moving up some. We are still in a confirmed down move on our big charts, both in our derivative oscillator and on our MACD. On the Qs, if we look at the four-hour chart, we can see that that down movement that occurred, and again, the Qs was down 1.24% for the day on Friday. I think I said the SPY was down that amount. I was incorrect. I, I said that wrong. The Qs was, uh, the SPY was down just 1%. Uh, but we can see the derivative oscillator is losing a lot of its steam on the four-hour chart on the Qs. And the MACD is getting close to crossing over, has not crossed over yet. So we'll wait and see what the charts tell us when the markets open up in the new year on Monday. Now, lastly, what do we always look at? Well, we look at gold. Going to range back to our two-day chart, take a look at what's up in gold. Gold, of course, is dredging along right at the bottom. We drew a purple line, gosh, I'm guessing sometime back in late November, we drew a purple line at the bottom of our chart, sort of showing where gold had bottomed out. And it's not on that bottom yet, but looks like it could be approaching there. It's currently in an up move since it crossed over going up on the 16th. But our gold charts are not working for us like they did in the past. Two-day chart's never been one we really relied on, but our four-hour chart was as good as gold. And it is, well... It's trying to earn its way back. It did give us, um, I mean, again, it's sort of all over the place in that month of December. Uh, it just really disappointed us. Uh, it has crossed over, and it has been accurate in the crossover going down that it showed us around the 29th and then on into the 30th and 31st. But again, we're waiting for gold to actually give us a good feel from the indicators again. It has not been doing so a lot lately. Gold is in a confirmed, well, it says it's in an up move on the two-day chart, and it tells us on the four-hour chart that gold is actually in a down move. So gold is being <clears throat> a little bit difficult for us to chart at this point. So guess what? The beautiful thing about not being professional traders and having to trade gold is we don't have to trade it till we get some good feel. We are watching this bottom, the purple bottom that we drew somewhere around about 101.48 or so. We'll continue to watch that, see if and when the charts start giving us something we can accurately read. Then we'll start looking at being able to trade gold again. Now remember, our site is all about education. We are not a stock calling service. When we talk about buying opportunities, we're talking about you being able to go into your virtual trading account and actually purchase the ETF that we're speaking of, or maybe an inverse ETF. That means that if the ETF is going down, such as SPY or even gold, you can buy an inverse fund in your virtual trading account. And again, we're all about practice. Once you learn enough from practicing that you're continuing to make excellent purchases and sales and you're making good money in your virtual account, then on your own you can make the decision to actually get out there and start trading on your own and making money. 
We are not a stock calling service. We'll start the year off with that. We're an education company. But you know what we really like? We really like to hear from you. We like to know what you think, what's going on, what we can help you with, what trainings you need. You can help us out so much by telling us what we can do for you. And don't forget to sign up for our email newsletter. What do you get? Well, you get our charting outline that we use right here. This is at freestockcharts.com. We literally give you our charting layout. We also send you a link for our 15-minute How to Read a Stock Chart video. You will love it. It'll give you a lowdown of what the MACD is, the moving average convergence divergence, what the derivative oscillator is, how we set up these charts, and how you can start working to read them. Because the, the stock charts are really a roadmap to what's happened in the past and to hopefully where the market's going in the future. We, you would not go on a trip to a destination you've never been to before without a map, would you? Why in the world would you jump into the stock market not knowing where it's been and where it may be going with all the, well, with the, the two main indicators that we use and with the kind of candlesticks we use to chart where the markets have been price-wise? So we so much appreciate you. Go to chartingwealth.com, sign up for our daily newsletter. Also, once a week, you'll get our weekly review and forecast, and you'll get those two bonus items. And all this is for free. You'll get our start charting layout and how to read a stock chart video. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Can't wait to hear from you. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all of it. Thank you so much from chartingwealth.com, and Happy New Year.